Learning Outcomes. At the end of this section, you will be able to Updating a table using a query. Delete query. Introduction. Action query can be considered as a normal select query, which is then given the option to perform a duty against a specified section or group of records in the database. Once the specified action is assigned, update, delete, or appended, this will then delineate the action that will be taken against the selected records. An action query is an efficient tool for making bulk data modifications against your database tables. By creating a delete action query in Microsoft Access, you can automatically delete a group of records from one or several tables. For example, in your database, we could use a delete query to delete all records pertaining to a certain town that we don't want anymore. A delete action query is one of the four types of action queries that Microsoft Access allows. Delete, update, append, and make table. Due to the permanent effects of working with a delete action query, you should always make a backup copy of your tables or your database before attempting this option. The delete query is one of the most dangerous. Unlike others mentioned, the delete query will remove records from your tables permanently. As with the other types of action queries, the delete query will work with a group of records that meet specified criteria that you apply. You can use the delete query to remove all records or only records that meet the criteria that you defined. If you wish to use the delete query to remove records from multiple tables rather than just a single database table, you will need to ensure that you have relationships defined between related tables in your Microsoft Access database. You have enforced the referential integrity for the relationships between your chosen tables. You have opted to cascade delete related records for the relationship type. To delete records from a single table or from tables with relationships, first create a new query containing the tables that you want to use. From Query Design View, click the arrow beside Query Type and then click Delete Query. A window appears containing a list of tables and a grid. Locate the tables from which you want to delete records. Drag the asterisk from these tables to the design grid. From the menu, select Query and choose Delete Query. The word From appears in the Delete cell, 0. Drag the fields that you want to use to the design grid. Updating records with an Update Query. A Microsoft Access Update Query updates specified values in a table for all records or for those records that match specified criteria. It is possible to update records manually in a database table, either in the form or the table's datasheet view. However, this may take a very long time. Changing records manually is not only time-consuming, it is also inefficient and tends to cause errors. The best way to handle the updating of many records in a database table is to use an update query to make the changes to data in one operation. You will save yourself time and eliminate the possibility of manual errors. Remember, due to the permanent effects of working with an update action query, you should always make a backup copy of your tables or your database before attempting this option. Do this for all queries that modify the data in your tables. How to create an update query? Create a select query to determine the records that will be updated. Apply any required query criteria and view the data that will be updated by pressing the Data Sheet button. 2. In the Query Design view, click on the drop-down arrow to the right of the Query Type button and choose Update Query. 3. After you are satisfied that the information to be updated is correct, run the query using the Run icon. Now consider the following example that will demonstrate the use of an Update Query. A product supplier has decided to increase the price of their products by 5% across the board. You have decided that you will use an update query to change all the relevant records in your products table. We need to update the unit price field 
to update all records from our supplier as they have informed us of a 5% price increase. Creating the update query. Here are the steps that we follow to produce the required outcome. One, create a query using the products table and the suppliers table. Include the fields that you are going to use to update the data, product ID, product name, and unit price from the products table and company name from the suppliers table. We have also included criteria in the company name field to limit the results to only those of the supplier that we are updating the records for. Creating a select query that will later be changed to the update query. Two, to check what results this will produce, run the query by clicking on the data sheet button. Checking the results before running the update query. When we are happy with the resulting data, we can switch back to design view to convert the query to an update query. From the query type button on the toolbar, select update query. In the unit price column in the update to sell, type in the expression unit price multiplied by 1.03 and press enter. The expression will update the original unit price by 3%. The query design should now look like the update query design. We now need to run this query using the run button to update the data in our products table that meets the criteria that is applied. The warning dialog box indicates the number of records that will be updated. Click yes to accept this. Remember that the update query will permanently update records from the specified table or tables. Therefore, it is very important that you have backed up the table or tables or database before running this object. Check your update query results. Once you have run the update query, you can check the results by once again changing the update query back to a select query. Let's review. Action query can be considered as a normal select query which is then given the option to perform a duty against a specified section or group of records in the database. Once the specified action is assigned, update, delete or appended, this will then delineate the action that will be taken against the selected records. An action query is an efficient tool for making bulk data modifications against your database tables. By creating a delete action query in Microsoft Access, you can automatically delete a group of records from one or several tables. A delete action query is one of the four types of action queries that Microsoft Access allows. Delete, update, append, and make table. Due to the permanent effects of working with a delete action query, you should always make a backup copy of your tables or your database before attempting this option. The delete query is one of the most dangerous. Unlike others mentioned, the delete query will remove records from your tables permanently. As with the other types of action queries, the delete query will work with a group of records that meet specified criteria that you apply. You can use the delete query to remove all records or only records that meet the criteria that you defined. A Microsoft Access Update query updates specified values in a table for all records or for those records that match specified criteria. The best way to handle the updating of many records in a database table is to use an update query to make the changes to data in one operation. You will save yourself time and eliminate the possibility of manual errors. Remember, due to the permanent effects of working with an update action query, you should always make a backup copy of your tables or your database before attempting this option. Do this for all queries that modify the data in your tables. Remember that the update query will permanently update records from the specified table or tables. Therefore, it is very important that you have backed up the table or tables or database before running this object. Check your update query results. Once you have run the update query, you can check the results by once again changing the update query back to a select query.